All right, here is the next item that's going to the bench. Uh, this is a Stuart Warner from 1938, model 9162. It is a six tube, two band radio. Uh, it's got the uh, Magic Keyboard. Looks like he's got push buttons for broadcast and foreign and maybe some tone buttons possibly here uh, or maybe one. Um, it's got the it's got the uh, iTube, which is a a favorite of mine. Um, I'm holding back. I was thinking about bringing out that uh, 355, the Philco, but I've done uh, several of those so far, and none of the n none of the of this model Stuart Warner. I've done Stuart Warners before, but they were. Uh, it's been a while, so we're gonna we're gonna bring this one out. This is gonna be the candidate next for the bench, and uh, we're gonna get fam familiar with this one and touch it real good the cabinet is structurally sound it's uh it's stout uh there is no um stress cracking on the curved corner that i can see and uh, nothing over here there is no bad gouging or whatever i'm really kind of this is different though I mean I've never seen them finish all the way wrap around the back but the back is nice and uh, it's got a good clean finish to it on the back um, the cabinet sticker is still intact we'll try to we'll try to save that uh, radio shop this one here has been touched um, ow, oh, she got it, oh, fry. Um, I don't remember if I was the one that clipped this off or, or what. Uh, I don't, I don't think I did. I don't, because I don't remember doing it. Uh, but that doesn't mean much. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna, we may, we may pull that out and staple it back in there, uh, later, whenever we get d done with it. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna matter much whether it's saved or not because when I start touching it, this isn't gonna matter. So, so much for those who want to keep everything in, in the past. It's time to move on into the future. So, uh, I'm not. This one's gonna get refinished. I know there's a lot of them that say, well. Put some magic goop on it and rub it down and everything and it'll clean up good as good as new no it won't uh, there's one thing to be said about keeping it old nostalgia those people that are nostalgic uh they're dying <laughs> the youth are taking over the planet and uh and they don't really care too much for the stuff like this. Now, if they grew up with it, yes. But you won't find anybody that that was born after the, well, maybe 70s, who, who care too much for this kind of stuff. Um, now, if it looks new, it's going to be treated as, 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 as new. And uh, they're going to take care of it. Uh, but if it looks old, they don't, you know, they could care less whether it stays looking old or whether it gets put in the trash. And a lot of times, <coughs> the youth don't care about saving any stuff of this nature. They, they'd rather their iPhones and their other stuff. Uh, but there are uh, some of those who did grow up with it and... Uh, and appreciate it and uh, 
if it if it looks uh, stressed uh, well most of them will pass on it but if it's been refinished and looks good and is showroom ready uh, oh yeah they'll they'll snap it up in a heartbeat and like I said you all the ones that I get and I redo uh, there's not much hope for those <laughs> most people would just go right around the ones that I would take on I don't see anybody out there other than maybe uh, Buzz 1151 who will tackle something that is in really distressed uh, a distressed state so we're gonna attack this one next let me um, let me go in and grab some of my implements of destruction and we will uh, slide this thing out and see what we got here stand by Alrighty, we got it. Uh, we got it emptied. Um, big, a big chamber there for the speaker. I must give some kind of a throaty, throaty sound when operating. A lot of dust bunnies. No real. Uh, doesn't look like any varmints were living in there. Um, so it should be relatively uh, varmint free it's um, 5w4s uh, transformer set that's good uh, you know I like these transformer sets because they're a whole lot simpler and a whole lot easier to work on than the other ones are uh, but um, yeah, it's six of one half a dozen of the other uh, but on some sets um, and it's mostly a, a lot of the uh, ones with the large cabinet and got large amount of tubes like say above seven gonna have beefy transformers in them and it's really gonna add to the weight you talk about shipping costs man for weight uh, yeah that'll add to it um, it's relatively unscathed at least uh, that I can see it up above here um, Let's tip it up, take a look. Hmm. It looks like it had a minor issue. Uh, maybe a couple of things were replaced in here. But uh, the, the electrolytics have been replaced. Let's see, there is a canister electrolytic here somewhere, and I think that's it right there. Yeah, I think I think that's it right right there. Um, so it looks like they may have paralleled these these other caps in. Hmm, another can to own. Hopefully it's still viable. But there's plenty of room in here to put one in. Um, now this... I was looking at this uh, magic keyboard. And... Um, it looks like they... They put a lot of... Uh, See if I can dip this up. Yeah. It looks like they uh, mounted everything on a front plate that is part of the chassis and um, and is removable. And boy, if that is the case, uh, that's a big 
thumbs up uh, to whoever designed that because it sure makes for cleaning a lot easier. Uh, but we, we will see. Uh, audio trans. Yeah, audio trans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's, there's one here, one there. I guess maybe two is all it has. I have the schematics. I every time I order a radio, well, before I order a radio, or before I even consider going after a radio and bagging it off of eBay or anywhere else where it happens to be. I make sure I get a schematic. I can get a schematic. Now I have schematics on CDs that pretty much uh, have been a uh, a lifesaver because uh, you can get it through um, Nostalgia Air for nothing if they have it. If they don't, you might be able to download. Um, a page at a time through Radio Museum and get it that way uh, they limit if you're a non-member they'll limit you I think to well they used to limit you to uh, three downloads a day on schematics well it's not really a download they email you a link to it and then you can go and, and download it from there but three is all they'll allow. So if you have a um, seven page schematic with a lot of information, it's going to take you a few days in order to download all those pages and print them. But um, they may or may not be legible. <laughs> so, um, but the ones that I have on CD, they are legible. They're high resolution uh, schematics. So, uh, yeah, I make sure that I can access the schematic and I have it ready and I make me a file folder jacket for it and file it away for when the radio comes in. I have it in file and I can refer to it right away to see what the characteristics are of the of the chassis. Uh, the speaker is it looks to be okay I'm thinking that by the looks of that thing it might rub the voice call might rub that magnet but I don't hear nothing and I really don't feel nothing uh, so we might not we might not have an issue there so anyway this is going to be the project so stay tuned we're going to have some more videos coming your way thanks for watching